So right now we're standing at an altitude of 5,000 meters above sea level on the Chacnantur Plateau in the Atacama Desert in Chile. And it's a pretty extraordinary place because we're surrounded by 66 radio telescope antennae which are part of the ALMA instrument or observatory, um, uh, which is partly run by the European Southern Observatory uh, alongside uh, collaborators in North America and East Asia. Um, to tell us more, I'm joined by Laura Ventura from the European Southern Observatory. Laura, tell us about these incredible pieces of equipment that are around us here. Sure, well, ALMA is the Atacama Large Millimeter and same millimeter array. That means that it uh, observes the universe in millimeter and three millimeter wavelengths, which are uh, just uh, for people to get an idea, a kind of radiation or light that is more similar to uh, the one used by I, our microwave oven, than uh, the light seen by our, our by human eye. Um, and it's uh, uh, it's an array that is it's a, it, it is a, um, a group of uh, 66 uh, antennas telescopes working together as uh, if they were a single telescope using a technique called interferometry. So basically what we achieve with this is uh, a capability of uh, seeing details as uh, fine as if we would have a telescope as large as the maximum distance that we can have between antennas. Which in the case of Alma, we can put, we can spread it, these 66 antennas across this huge plateau uh, at a maximum distance of uh, 16 kilometers. You know, and that means that the, 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 the capability to achieve uh, special resolution, that means capability to see details, to see very fine details into the astronomical object, is equivalent to the one of a telescope of a a giant radio telescope, 16 kilometers in diameter. So this is a wonderful um, observatory. This is an impressive machine. And these telescopes are basically looking back into the cold parts of the universe to try and see, I guess, what, what happened uh, as the universe developed in those particular points. So that, that's kind of what we're looking for. Well, uh, what we see in the millimeter and see millimeter wavelength is what we call the cold universe. You know. Say because a millimeter to a millimeter are on the radio side of the electromagnetic spectrum. We are talking then about uh, low energy radiation. We correspond to also, uh, you know, low energy phenomena that happen in the, you know, in the, in in the astronomical objects and low temperatures. So what we can see with our nephews is it's a look through. Uh, the huge clouds of uh, interstellar gas and dust there are between stars you know, the, star, the space between stars is not empty and uh, those are the places where actually stars and planets around stars are forming and we cannot uh, like uh, in, look into those this, this clouds um, in a visible light because um, invisible light is absorbed and therefore these clouds are uh, obscure and invisible light. So we need to go at longer wavelengths like the ones that we are able to sort of Alma to look through those. And uh, with the capability to see in such uh, you know finer details inside uh, these objects we are able to really see our planetary systems, other planetary systems and powers why they are forming for instance. And the other part that we are looking to uh, is the very distant universe because since the universe is expanding, um, you know, if we think of uh, the universe as an, you know, an elastic fabric and, uh, and uh, the electromagnetic waves, so, so the waves of light as a kind of springs, they also are stretched by the expansion of the universe. That means that as we, as far we look, we look back in time, uh, but also there's this radiation coming from very distant objects is very shifted, it's very stretched toward long wavelengths. So um, there, 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 were, there was a huge amount of objects, of galaxies, if, that were forming in the very early, very, very early universe that we, we are not able to detect at shorter wavelengths. So we need these telescopes to go that far uh, in space and that far back in time. Well, it's 
absolutely extraordinary place um, and uh, it's doing some pretty cutting edge amazing science which, uh, which is very important so thanks for bringing us up here Laura Ventura. Welcome.